Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be building the LAV-AD or an anti-air LAV for short. So what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to start off by building the base. So we're going to start with the wheels. We're going to put down a wheel, skip a block, wheel, skip a block, another wheel, and then another wheel. Pretty much like that. And then we're going to go to our slabs. We're going to go three across. And we'll put three on the back. I'm just going to bring this forward past by two at the very front. Fill that in. So it should be like that so far. We've got a gap of two, of two at the front, two extras at the front, and then one extra on the back. And put down our wheels on the other side. We're going to go to our fen oak fence gates. We're going to put two on the back. And then we're going to go to our buttons and just pretty much put our buttons on our wheels pretty pretty basic and then what we're going to do is on the very back we're going to put down a darker tan block whatever you got in your texture pack that's up to you uh, you could use polished andesite if that's what you want to use then we're going to put a sandstone on the side we're going to go to our staircases and we're going to wrap these all the way to the front just for now do that on this side as well wrap it all the way to the front and then we're just going to cut off the front two we're going to put down a three by two with our blocks i'm going to put a corner piece there and a piece going forward there piece going forward there and then one behind it just to make it a corner piece like that then on the front we're going to add three more upside down staircases and then on top of those staircases, we're going to add three slabs. We're going to go to our staircases, we're going to run them across the front. And then we're going to add two. Well, we're going to add one and then we're going to add a corner piece. Do that on this side as well. And then we're going to go to this block again. We're going to put two more. We're going to go to our sandstone and just pretty much wrap this around, wrap this forward, and then just fill in on the inside here. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do next is I've got these black cobblestone walls. Normal cobblestone should work fine. So on this side, we're going to put down a black cobblestone wall. Next to it, we're going to put down our wheel block with our button on it. And then in front of that, we're going to put down a button and then two more cobblestone walls and then in front of those cobblestone walls we're going to add two more buttons and that's that side done so for the other side we're going to put one button on the back skip a block place two skip a block two cobblestone walls like that now that we've got that we're just going to clear out our inventory for now and we're just going to grab i'm just going to grab what we need off the off this one so pretty much what we're going to need is what I've got here for now. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut out these three, replace them with black blocks. On the back here, we're going to put down a button in the middle. And then we're going to put down two wooden trapdoors on the back. Those are for the hatches on the back. On top of this, in the on both the outer blocks of the black, we're going to put down two fences and in this corner i chucked down a, a brewing stand uh it should work in your texture pack whatever it is i've just got i just made these ones for this this is what my ones look like but they should work perfectly fine with the normal brewing stands so on top of that on top of these fences we're going to add four iron bars so one two three four one two three four like that on the very front here on top of this staircase we're going to add four uh, iron bars so one two three four and we no longer need our iron bars next thing we're going to grab is we're going to grab our white skulls we're going to put one there one there we're going to cut out these two blocks here replace them with black 
that's not a black block. I'm going to replace them with a black block. And then next to this front one, we're going to put down a button. And then we're going to, on this block here, we're going to put down a wooden trap door. And then once we've got, um, got that, what we're going to do next is we're going to skip this block, put down a, a sandstone slab, skip this block, put down another sandstone slab. Now that we've done that, we can cut out this block, cut out this block, and then what we're going to what we're going to grab is we're going to grab our glass blocks and our black carpet. So we're going to put down a glass block behind these two slabs, and then put down a black piece of carpet on top. And then behind those glass blocks, we're going to add two. Oh, that's not the right block. We're going to add two sandstone blocks two sandstone blocks, and then one sandstone block in there. And that should leave the indent for the AA gun itself. So on this side, we're going to add a cobblestone wall, and then we're going to add a slab on top, a slab going diagonal down, and then a slab going diagonal up, like that. Those are just for the missile pods that you see on the side. And then on this side, we're going to add a cobblestone wall, and we're going to have to add two more cobblestone walls for now. We're going to put in two a black carpet there, black carpet there. And then what we can do next is we can put in an upside down staircase there. Put a slab on the side, slab on that side, three slabs on top. Now that we've got that, what we're going to do is just going to clear our inventory. And we're going to grab our, fence, our black fence gates our anvil, our wooden fence gate. So we're going to put a wooden fence gate there, followed by two fences, fence gates on top. So wooden fence there, and then two fence gates on the side. And then we're going to cut out these cobblestone walls. We're going to put in an anvil there, and then two more fence gates in there. And once we've done that, what we can do next is grab your wooden button, put a wooden button there and there. And that pretty much wraps up this build. So if you use this on a server or a world, please do give me credit. That's all I ask. If you feel the video deserves it, leave a like. It really helps out with the algorithm. Ring the bell and hit that subscribe button. And if you want the texture pack, it is in the Discord. Anyone is welcome, just don't be toxic. And one last thing before I forget, uh, just two iron trap doors in there, on there. But besides from that, I will catch you all later. Peace out.